right, I'm here with. Going on, man? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber? Yeah. What's up? What you talking about? I appreciate Where it. Where you from, man? Ohio. Ohio? Oh, What's yeah. You know with that Kentucky stuff on? going on everybody welcome back to uh, lockout men's travels thank you very much for joining me if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, hitting that bell to uh, join in the conversation I get emails comments all the time because if you have any questions and you, and if you guys feel that I can answer it thank you very much now if I don't know I will definitely do my research on it and bring it to you on the research that I have found. Like this question right here. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's up on the screen right here exactly. It's somewhere. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. This question comes from uh, via email from Big Will J. Will. He sent me an email and it reads, I've been driving Western Express. I'm sorry, let me start over. I guess he was like typing a little bit fast. I was driving for Western Express Inc. And my d -map... one more time. I was driving for Western Express Inc. And my DM didn't try to get me home to take my CPAP test. So I had to come off the road and take my test. Do you know how long I have to put the data on the machine? I heard 30 day, 60 days, and 90 days. How is trucking, I think he meant trucker, how is a trucker going to make money when the company can't help him get what is done to get him home? just need help point me in the right direction if you know a little something my name is Jeremy Williams it's tough to be a newbie out here and get thrown to the wolves well Jeremy it is tough it, it is tough uh, when you're a new guy you know after you get off your trainers truck you know you're just you're, you're thrown out there and in this it's all up to you to do whatever whatever needs to be done, you know. There's there's little amount of help that's that's out here. Now I'm not sure with Western Express. I don't know uh, if they have any mentors there or have any uh, have anybody that you can call up and say, hey, I need some help with this. I don't know. You know, different companies do different things. That's, you know, it's, it's crazy like that. I don't know why they couldn't get you home in time to, to, to do the CPAP test. I would imagine that uh, the CPAP test would be an important thing to, you know, get you home. I would imagine. And to be honest with you, I don't know what a CPAP test is. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm very fortunate that I never had no problems with my sleep. So... But what I did do, I, as I said before, what I don't know, I would uh, go and do my research, which I done. Uh, I looked up a little bit. I looked up a little bit, and I came across. Uh, I came across this right here. You see? Hold on. There it is. 
I came across that. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and probably break it down. What is a CPAP and how CPAP works, all right? This works out for me too because I don't know what a CPAP is, bro. It is Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Therapy, CPAP. CPAP uses a machine to help a person who has obstructive sleep apnea breathe more easily during sleep. A sleep a CPAP machine increase air pressure in your throat so that your airway does not collapse when you breathe in. When you use CPAP, your bed partner may sleep better too. The CPAP machine will have one of the following attached to it. A mask that covers your nose and mouth, known as a full CPAP mask. A mask that covers your nose only called a nasal continuous airway pressure. A mask that fits directly into the base of your nose with a pillow type cushion. There are three different types of CPAP machines. One that offers fits air pressure and one that offers automatic, automatically adjust air pressure often known as auto or APAP. What to expect after treatment? Treatment can help you achieve the quality of sleep you are after, helping you improve your symptoms associated with sleep apnea and have a positive impact on your health and well-being. It may take time for you to adjust to using the CPAP. If you're struggling to get used to it, talk to your doctor. Why is CPAP is done? CPAP is the most effective non-surgical treatment for objective sleep apnea. It is the first treatment choice and it's most widely used. It is considered the gold standard of treatment for sleep apnea. How well it works. Overall, CPAP is effective for obstructive sleep apnea and will reduce or stop your snoring. It is widely regarded as the most effective way to treat OSA. Research shows that continuous positive airway pressure decrease daytime sleepiness, especially in those who have moderate to severe sleep at Difficulties with CPAP. Problems that may occur with CPAP includes dry nose or sore throat, nightmares and excessive dreaming during early use, nasal congestion, runny nose and sneezing, irritation of the eyes and skin on face, abnormal bloating, leaks around the mask because it doesn't fit properly. You might feel some mild discomfort in the beginning of you using the CPAP machine. Combating initial issues with using your CPAP. We may be able to adjust your CPAP to reduce or eliminate problems. Be sure the mask or nasal prongs fit properly. Air should not leak around the mask. Use a humidifier or a nasal spray medicine to reduce nasal irritation and drainage. You may want to talk to us about trying a CPAP machine that will start with a low air pressure and slowly increase the air pressure as you fall asleep. This kind of machine can help reduce discomfort caused by too much constant pressure in your nose. If you're using the CPAP, it can be useful to see your doctor or sleep center regularly. The machines are an expensive purchase. You may want to take a rent to buy option instead of whereby you pay off the machine each month over, the, over a time period. The most common problem with CPAP is that people do not use the machine every night or they take off the mask during the night because it becomes uncomfortable. Even one night of not using the machine can make you very sleepy the next day.
Jeremy, I hope that information I found out for you works out for you as far as uh, CPAP concern. Now, I know you asked me like, you know, like how often to put the information into the machine. Well, I would assume once you get the machine, uh, your doctor will probably, you know, show you how to use it more and, and how to enter the um, information into, into the machine as far as uh, your sleep apnea goes and making sure that um, making sure that the test is correct for you I guess thank you for the email Jeremy I really do appreciate it and if anybody else out there have any questions that they would like for me to answer yo feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me an email you know what I'm saying that's how I rock out with you guys, you know? That's how I get to know you guys on a personal level, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are on a CPAP uh, regimen or something like that that you can help my man Jeremy out with, leave that in the comments below. And till next time and until next video, you guys stay chilled and don't forget to give me a coffee, man, all right? I really do appreciate it. The link is in the description and in the and in the comments. Hook your boy up with something to drink. Also, if you like, let me hook other drivers up out here with something to drink as well. So definitely leave a coffee for me to give to uh, to help out another driver out here. All right, well that's it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys take it easy and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.